It's your boy, no plug, yeah, yo. You just jumped out the porch with Dirty Girl Bastard, man. All right, today we got no plug, yeah, yo, jumping off the porch with us today. You know the vibes, you know the vibes. How you feeling today, gang? Feeling all right, man. Blessing, you know what I'm saying? Same old shit. Cool ass nigga, you're looking like it. For sure, for sure. For, for sure. sure. Yeah. So tell us, what you out here working on in Atlanta? I can't Atlanta. I, I can't Atlanta for goddamn promotion, man. I'm trying to promote myself, get myself out there, you feel me? I already got the city behind me. I'm trying to goddamn get it to another state, you feel me? Try to get bigger than what it is. For sure. That's all. So how would you compare Atlanta to back home in Norfolk, Virginia? Shit, they the same. Shit, Norfolk and, and Atlanta the same for real. People don't know that, but that shit just like everybody turning up. Everybody want to turn up. We turn up out there. We do the same thing Atlanta do. They just got bigger names than what we got. That's all that is. For sure. So for those who don't know, how would you describe life back at home in Norfolk? Trenches. That's all. You in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? Same way, same way you, same way y'all, y'all living like that. But well, we were living the same way. You know what I'm saying? You can't pay. You can't. I don't know. I don't know. Damn. I don't know. That's the real. I can't even explain it. How would you say Norfolk compares to the DMV? Norfolk compared to the DMV. I think me personally, DMV, that ain't got nothing to do with Norfolk or 757. But they put us in the joint, so I guess it's. All of it together, but I don't even I don't even know nobody outside of seven five seven. So when they say DMV and stuff like that, I don't even know what they be talking about. For sure. How would you describe your childhood coming up? Shit, my childhood. Shit, goddamn. Grew up. I grew up out north and shit like that. Grew up out north. Got locked up. Came home, moved to Chesapeake. A lot of shit going on out there. I, mean, I, I, I can't even explain it, bro. I gotta smoke my weed or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> when would you say you jumped off the porch? Uh, shit. As soon as I came out of my, my dude's womb. As soon as I came out of the womb. I'm already outside, you feel me? For sure. What would you say is the biggest life lesson you learned growing up? Biggest life lesson I learned. Loyalty. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Loyalty. When would you say you started making music? I started making music. Uh, I started making music like 2018, but I only dropped one song. I dropped one song called True Story. And I just felt like I ain't had a support, so I ain't, I ain't even run with that shit, you feel me? So I just let that shit go, stop rapping, you know what I'm saying? Then when it got down, a lot of shit going on, it's like, ain't shit else to do but rap, you know what I'm saying? Rap about what I've been through, you feel me? Now I'm just current it, now I'm just taking it to another whole nother level. So what would you say motivated you to start making music? What motivated me? My homeboys motivated me. They, they, they told me, they be like, boy, you, boy, you got it. Go ahead, keep going. Come on, spit something for me. You know what I'm saying? That just moved, and they just always tell me like, boy, you gotta drop this, boy, you ain't drop that. Cause I always had a lot of songs and shit. But when they be listening to it, they're like, yeah, you need to drop, bro. You need to just goddamn take this shit serious. Who would be some of your musical influences? Shit. G Herbo. I fuck with Herbo. Kodak. Shit. NBA, mm -hmm. whoever painting the picture, you know what I'm saying? The same way I do it, that's what I listen to. But I fuck with Herbo the hardest, though. That's my nigga. When would you say you started taking music serious? Uh, three months ago. I started taking music serious three months ago. I started rapping three months ago, actually. Damn, for real? Yeah, I started rapping three months ago. That's hard. Mm -hmm. How would you say you got your rap name? My rap name, it used to be Fast Cash Yayo and shit like that, but 
you know, you know what I'm saying, shit hot like that, so I had to switch it up. Plus, I already had shit going on, you feel me? I was the plug or some shit. Bitches used to be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, yo, the plug. They used to say, yeah, yo, the plug, you feel me? Like, nah, I ain't no plug. Woo -doo 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 -doo. I just said, no plug, yeah, yo, you feel me? Just came up with that, straight like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. How would you say, or how would you describe the music scene back at home in Norfolk right now? Music scene, music scene snapping. Everybody rapping. The whole city rapping. The whole goddamn city. Yeah, everybody rapping. That shit, that shit crazy out there right now. Yeah. For sure. Why do you think people overlook the talent coming out of Norfolk? They overlook the talent because we ain't got no big names with the we ain't got no big names with the support for real, for real. I mean, pushing them support and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't got no big names though. Like Atlanta got baby. You feel me? Thug everybody. You know what I'm saying? V8. You don't even fucking know for for real. You don't even know. What can you tell us about your new project? Paint the picture, yay. Paint that picture, yay. Basically, it just, it's, it's me talking about my life and shit I've been through, or shit I face, my consequences, all that shit, all in one. You get what I'm saying? Every song got a meaning to it. You get what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that shit get deep. Like, if a nigga just, that shit get deep, man. That shit, that shit get deep, bro. Explain the artwork. What, the cover photo? Yeah, like, the mixtape cover. Gave, explain the artwork. Yeah, bro. Shit, the mixtape cover, like, it's me, and then it's all pictures of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of them are different picture of me, you know what I'm saying? It's like reflections of a different part of my life, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, I think it's like 12 pictures out there. So, you got 12 pictures, but you got 13 songs. So, you got 12 pictures and a little nigga sitting down on the ground. I'm the nigga currently sitting down on the ground, but the 12 pictures is me facing you know what I'm saying? That upon the time, that's a picture of me up upon that time. You know what I'm saying? So, and I put it in a picture frame, like like painting, like a painting frame type shit. Paint that picture, yeah. For sure. Me. Talk to us about the Miss My Ends music video. Oh yeah, that was, that, was that right there. Miss my Miss my niggas. That was for my little bro, man. My little bro, Long Live Malik. Man. That was for my little bro. You know what I'm saying? I just I basically that video. I just I really put all my pain to it, like. Three in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Like, couldn't even finish the song type shit, but still managed to get that shit through and, and, and make a video that same, that same day, all that same day for my boy, you know what I'm saying? And that shit rocking right now, that shit really going up. For sure. You know what I'm saying? What about Go Raw? Go Raw. Go Raw, that's the club song. See, they ain't even, they ain't even listen to that. When you hear that, when you listen to that Go Raw, that's basically, you on your street nigga shit, but you got your bitch, you know what I'm saying, at the same time. And you gotta handle some shit like that, you feel me? So as you handle some shit, you still can fuck your bitch through the, all the mess of that. And it's rocking, that shit, that shit snapping. Yeah. Yeah, no question. What's the next video you plan to drop? Next video I plan to drop, I plan to drop a video tomorrow. Well, I don't know this video, this one shit, but I plan to drop a video tomorrow called Hit the Black. Then when I drop Hit the Black tomorrow, that's on the mixtape too. Hit the Black on the mixtape. I'm gonna drop that video tomorrow. Then I'm gonna get back on the same schedule. Drop every week. I used to drop every week. I'm back on that shit. Painting pictures though. Like, this shit about to get epic now. Like, this shit about to go up for real. For sure. Who are some of the producers you look to work with? Or what's the sound that you look for in the producer when you're working with them? Producers I'm looking to work with. I need some more, I need some more club shit, so, producers. I don't know, somebody from the city. Nigga, who from the city? Lex Luger, him or something like that. He do some shit and put a little piano, a little guitar type shit in that bitch. I snap on that bitch. I don't even, I don't even know the rest of the producers, you know what I'm saying? I'm just coming in the game, I'm just snapping, so. You know what I'm saying? They, hopefully they might just hit me up just saying this shit. For sure. For sure. What would you say is your personal? <laughs> huh? What would you say is your personal favorite song from Paint That Picture? Yeah. My my personally favorite song, Paranoid. Paranoid, my favorite song. That's actually my that's actually my first video when I started rapping. You know what I'm saying? Paranoid got me rapping. You know what I'm saying? For sure. 
Talk to us about your grind as an independent artist. My grind as an independent artist. My grind as an independent artist. This is straight me doing this shit. This is straight me waking up in the hood, rock out the hood, and then nigga say, well, you got to go lay that down, lay it down, go back to the hood, and say, fuck it, we shooting a video right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting to it, you feel me? Like, I'm really consistent with this shit. I'm, every song I be dropping with a video, that shit really got a meaning to it. So you really got to pay attention. So this independent shit really going up, like, don't love me. For real. What would you say is the biggest challenge that comes along with being an independent artist? Biggest challenge, support. Niggas don't support. Niggas ain't supporting each other. That, that's, that's, that's the main concern. A nigga support each other, but this shit so fucked up out here, that shit ain't gonna never happen. But that support. Would you ever consider signing to a major label situation? A major label? Shit down right. Get me out the get me out the way. Shit. I've signed a goddamn shit. I ain't gonna say I, I ain't gonna be on camera and say I signed to anybody, but shit. I signed to anybody. Yeah. Nah, nah, but <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I take I take a sign. You gotta have some bread though, cause I ain't no po nigga, so you gotta have some paper. Just trying to sign me. What would you say are your goals for your music career? My goals. My goals is a it's just to perform. My goal, my goal for real, is to like, well, my goal like right now, like my six month goal, is to do a show in the city and have the whole city out. Cause you know the city's so fucked up. Just imagine if I just bring the city out on, on like my show, like yeah yo dollar, yeah yo show, y'all you know saying pull up and the city come out and the whole city come and rap that shit. That shit gonna be epic. Yeah. That's my goal. Have the whole city come out for the show. What else are you working on right now? I'm working on my deluxe. I'm working on paint that picture, yeah, the deluxe. I'm trying to pit like, I'm trying to pit like 10 more songs on that bitch. No bullshit. I'm gonna pit 10 more songs on paint that picture, yeah. That shit, you, that shit, man, this shit about to go up for real. Like, yeah, that's what I'm working on. What is it that you want listeners to take from your music? What I want them to take from the music. Shit. Take the, take the vision, take the picture. You know what I'm saying? Look at, listen to what I'm saying and you know what I'm saying? Like, see if this what you facing or something like that or somebody you know, you know what I'm saying? You can put them on to the music like, yeah, bro, pop that shit too, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all for real. Any last words and shout outs? Shit. Shout out to the city, man. Long live the guys, free the guys. Y'all know the vibes. Goddamn. Shout out to my goddamn. Um, shout out to my um, my producer. Uh, a, a engineer. A engineer can be a producer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out my nigga. My producer. My nigga uh, Quan. My nigga Quan, man. Uh, time. Goddamn. Got his own studio, audio place, audio palace. One of them shits like that. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog right there. We put in a lot of work. A lot of work, and we still put it in. Sure. You know what I'm saying? No plug, yeah, yeah. We appreciate you having me today, gang. For sure, for sure, man. Yeah, I know the vibes, man. For sure. Uh, take me back when I was broke, when my dog was still alive, and we be trapping by the stove. Man, it's three in the morning, we ain't got nowhere to 